Ross evaluated the given indefinite integrals or determine the antiderivatives. In this lesson, we'll be using the method of u-substitution. First, we have the integral of 3x to the 7th divided by the cube of the quantity x to the 8th plus 9 dx. When performing u-substitution, we always want to be analyzing the integrand function and recognizing if we set part of the integrand function equal to u, would differential u match the remaining part of the integrand function? And often when we have part of the integrand function raised to a power, we let u equal the base. Notice in this case, we let u equal x to the eighth plus nine. We should recognize the derivative is going to be of degree seven, which matches the numerator. So in this case, we'll let u equal x to the eighth plus nine. By letting u equal x to the eighth plus nine, notice the denominator is now just u to the third, and we're left with three x to the seventh dx. The next step is to determine differential u and see if it matches the form of the remaining parts of the integral. Differential u is equal to the derivative of x to the eighth plus nine with respect to x times dx, which gives us eight x to the seventh dx. And now looking back at the integral, we have three x to the seventh dx, not eight x to the seventh dx. So what we can do here is just solve for x to the seventh dx. To do this, we divide both sides by eight. Simplifying, we now know that one eighth to u is equal to x to the seventh dx. If one eighth du is equal to x to the seventh dx, we can replace x to the seventh dx with one eighth du, and then the entire integral will be in terms of u. Notice we still have this three here, which we can factor out. If we factor out the three, we have three times the integral, and then x to the seventh dx is equal to one eighth du. Let's factor out the one eighth, and then we have the differential u, and we're left with one divided by, the denominator is now u to the third. Notice everything is in terms of u now, and we have a much simpler integral. Let's rewrite this as three eighths times the integral of, let's write one divided by u cubed as u to the power of negative three du. In this form, we can apply the power rule of integration, which gives us three eighths times u to the power of negative three plus one, which is negative two, divided by negative two plus c. Simplifying in terms of u, notice that we have negative three sixteenths u to the power of negative two plus c. And now we need to write this back in terms of x, where we know u is equal to x to the eighth plus nine. So in terms of x, we have negative three sixteenths times the quantity x to the eighth plus nine raised to the power of negative two plus c. Let's also write this using a positive exponent. This is equal to negative three divided by the product of 16 and the square of x to the eighth plus nine. And of course we still have plus c. We often write the result of an indefinite integral or antiderivative using big F of x. So let's go ahead and say big F of x is equal to negative three divided by the product of 16 and the square of the quantity x to the eighth plus nine plus c. This is the family of functions whose derivative is equal to the given integrand function. And then for our second example, we have the integral of six divided by the sixth power of x plus four dx. If u is a function of x, it seems clear here u would need to be x plus four. So if u is equal to the quantity x plus four, notice now the denominator is going to be u to the power of six, and we're left with six dx. Next, we determine differential u. Differential u is equal to the derivative of the quantity x plus four with respect to x times dx, which gives us one dx or just dx. Notice in this case, we can simply replace dx with du. Writing the integral in terms of u, we can factor out the six, giving us six times the integral of one divided by u to the sixth du. Let's go ahead and write this using a negative exponent. This is equal to six times the integral of u to the power of negative six differential u, which is equal to six times u to the power of negative six plus one, which is negative five, divided by negative five plus c. Simplifying in terms of u, we have negative six fifths u to the power of negative five plus c, which in terms of x is equal to negative six fifths times the quantity x plus four raised to the power of negative five plus c. 
writing this using a positive exponent, we have negative six divided by the product of five and the fifth power of x plus four. And of course we still have plus c, which means big F of x again is equal to negative six divided by the product of five and the fifth power of x plus four plus c. This is the family of functions whose derivative is equal to the given integrand function. So any of these antiderivatives can be checked by differentiating big F of x, again to verify the result is the given integrand function. I hope you found this helpful.